Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm here for another video and today we're going to be talking about cell phones. Yes, we love them. I use it all the time and I love my phone. Um, <laughs> a lot of people use it for their own personal uses on Instagram, Snapchat. It's how we stay connected. It's how we look at things. We use it for navigation. Cell phones have really changed ever since I remember being a little guy. So um, <laughs> it's, it's really blown my mind how far cell phones are, have come. So today I would like to talk about cell phones and how you can save a lot of money with a cell phone. Uh, one thing I wanna really talk about is overages. You know, um, Are you going over your data limit? Oh boy, because if you are, you might wanna consider upping your data plan because your overages fees could be a lot of money. So be very careful on your overages. Some companies still probably have like that terrible like un non unlimited texting or like call or whatever, and they have crazy overage fees for that. Don't don't go into those kind of companies if they if you don't have that. You know you should be able to call and text unlimited now at this point. It's 2000 and almost 18. Let's just move on from that. So um, and we're getting to the point where eventually we'll probably have unlimited data. Uh, and, and another thing that I really want to talk about is um, making sure that you set up your phone so that when you do have a data limit, currently this is 2017, setting, you can set a data limit on your phone so that once you get to a certain point it cuts you off so that you don't end up with a bunch of overages for, for your data. Another one is uh, a new phone. Woo! Uh, I talked about this in a previous episode, but I just wanted to uh, like touch bases on this and say that uh, a new phone is expensive. It's very expensive. Um, like the new iPhone, what is it, 10 right now is like almost a thousand dollars. You know, probably about 10 years from now, this video will be actually quite hilarious because, you know, cell phones will probably be like, you know, $10,000, you know, it'd be something ridiculous, really expensive. Um, and uh, I think that, that it's, a, it's a hilarious thing. I think a lot of people buy the new phone, that, that buy the new, new hotness or whatever you want to call it the, the new phone is going to be awesome and in a lot of features it is you know maybe it lasts longer maybe it has like m m more uh storage data better camera it has a lot of features you know and it, it can be great but buying a brand new phone is very expensive and you can save yourself quite a bit of money by just buying um, maybe a last gen phone or maybe waiting quite a bit until um, a new phone comes out and then you can get the, the, the previous generation phone. Change your plan. Um, yes, plans are constantly changing with um, you know phone companies. They um, <laughs> they constantly change their plan because they have competition. You know, AT and T and Verizon are constantly at war with each other on um, you know what kind of who who they can steal plan wise, and you should be you know on the forefront of that. You should always be looking at your plan and seeing if there's a better plan for you because chances it are you can be grandfathered into a completely other plan that you still pay the same amount, but you could be paying a little bit cheaper and still like getting the same amount of uh, data or maybe just a tiny bit less and save yourself like 20 bucks a month, uh, 40 bucks a month. One was a big one that uh, you set up automatic, automatic, automated payments. Wow, I couldn't say that. Automated payments. And I saved myself, uh, I think $40 a month just for automated payment. So, you know, well, look into these kind of things. Uh, I've got another one that's coming up that was a big one that we found out. Um, try not to be locked in. That's a big one. Like, don't don't sign a contract that you're going to be stuck with a phone company. And those have kind of gone away over the years. But uh, being locked in with a phone can be really bad because you can end up with a situation where you're just constantly trying to, to get ahead um, of, of your, your bill and your bill's like way up here when you could be paying down here um, on, on uh, the constant com combat of the companies fighting each other and you're just locked in, you're forced to pay this unless you pay like a fee to get pulled out of that contract, which, you know, for them, it's just gravy. You're just they're just making more money off you. Next one is discounts. Wow, this was a really one that I never really thought I'd have happen. But some companies um, they have discounts for where you work. If it's like a partner company, or maybe you work for another company that's nearby, 
you can receive a discount percentage wise just for working for that other company and you know maybe AT&T as an affiliate company or whatever or whatever it is and uh, you can maybe get like 15 20 percent off your total bill isn't that crazy so that one was a big one for us we found that out about where my lady works so we saved ourselves some money there common fees um, some common fees is like really funny like people will have data data overages or um, you know what they'll do is they'll they'll end up uh, getting roaming fees or wherever their location is be careful with these things you know combat that with like connecting to Wi-Fi and another one is financing I'm gonna tell you right now financing is going to be like pretty important for your future uh, you're gonna be having it happen a lot uh, even if you're older, you know, having good, um, credit could be the difference between you paying a 3% or a 6%, um, you know, loan amount. And, you know, for phones, they probably don't have any kind of like, um, interest financing, but be careful with those kind of things. Cause you don't want to get locked in on paying like, uh, an, an interest fee, you know, for, for your phone, your brand new phone. So uh, thank you very much. Like if you like the video, dislike if you dislike the video, and subscribe if you really like the video. Hope to see you guys again soon. See you next episode.